Well, I'm out here in the middle of the desert and uh, on the back of my Corolla, once again, I'm uh, cooking dinner. Uh, pretty basic with hot dogs. Everybody can boil hot dogs, but I'm gonna show you how to make homemade onion rings while you're camping. And that's what this pot is used for. So to make the homemade onion rings, you need a yellow onion that you've cut up into rings that are about a quarter inch uh, wide. And then you're gonna need some oil. I use canola. I guess you could use olive oil, but that would be kind of expensive. Uh, the panko crumbs are optional. I'll explain why later on in the video. And then you're gonna need one cup of flour with a half a teaspoon salt mixed in. I've already done that, and there's my one cup flour with the salt already mixed in. And then you need three bowls. So I got three bowls here. Some tongs to get the onion rings out of the oil, and a thermometer to make sure your oil has reached the proper temperature, which is 370 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get started. So you add about an inch of the oil to your saucepan and heat that until it reaches 370 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where the thermometer uh, comes in handy. Uh, and once it's reached that temperature, then you go ahead and you start to fry your onion rings. So how you make the onion rings is you take your, your sliced onion, quarter inch slices, and uh, you got your three bowls. And in one bowl, you put the flour, and in another bowl, you put some milk. I forgot to mention, you need milk as one of the ingredients. And then uh, in the third bowl, which is optional, you put the panko crumbs, which I will uh, explain in a minute. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the three bowls ready. So we're heating the oil. It's already up to 178 and rising. It has to get to three, 370 degrees in order to cook the onion rings properly. So in the meantime, you prep the onion rings by first you take a ring and then you dip it in the milk. You give it a milk bath, if there is such a thing. Then you dip it in the flour that has the salt in it. You get it so it's nice and coated. And then you dip it in the milk again and back in the flour again. And that's all you have to do. I put the uh, onion rings on it. Uh, on a separate plate and uh, until they're all done because that way I can, I can put them all in the oil at the same time. Now what I was talking about the panko crumbs is instead of doing the second dredge through the flour, you can dredge them through the panko crumbs and the panko crumbs make them really extra, uh, extra crispy. So to do that again, you take an onion ring, dip it in the milk, dip it, dip it in your, uh, your salted flour, Dip it in the milk again, but this time, dip it in the panko crumbs. Give it a good coating. And uh, so there's the two varieties. On the left is with panko crumbs, and on the right is just a flour coating. Um, I prefer the panko, but you don't have to do that. You can do the flour twice. So let's uh, let's do one more. A good size one. So in the milk bath, and in the, in the salted flour. And then back in the milk bath real quick and then a quick dunk in the panko breadcrumbs and then you put it with the others waiting to go into the oil so let me get all these ready and i'll show you how to fry them okay my oil is not quite at 370 it's at about 320 so all that just means is the, the onion rings will probably have to cook a little bit longer so you take the onion rings that you've prepped and just add them quickly to the uh, oil. Oh, there's the one with no panko crumbs. All the rest have the panko crumbs. And these just have to cook, well, a few minutes, but just use your eyes. And when they're golden brown, they're done. So, that's all of them. And then you take your tongs and make sure they're all submerged. And like I said, just watch them with your eyes. And once that coating, once that coating turns a golden brown, then they're done. Might take a few minutes. And once they're done cooking, that's what they look like when they come out of the oil. Mine could have maybe gone a couple more minutes to get a little more golden brown, but I was running out of propane. 
So uh, I took them out a little bit early, but those still look pretty good. Nice golden brown color. That's what you want to get. If you cook them too long, they get really dark brown and then, you know, and then they get burnt. So that's about the right shade. And uh, let's see how it pairs up with the hot dogs on the plate. So there's the finished product. Two hot dogs with mustard, homemade onion rings, and a little side of ketchup right there to dip the rings in. You can see how the panko crumbs make these more crunchy. Uh, just having flour on them uh, isn't quite the same consistency and kind of sucks. So I, I recommend using the panko crumbs. Oh my gosh, that is so good. That's better than any restaurant can make in my opinion. And to wash it all down, iced tea. Now that's a meal you can, you can come home to after a day out in the desert and in the mountains exploring abandoned mines. So hope you enjoyed that cooking lesson, the onion rings. Until next time, I'll see you then.